It's on the yard sports and I'm Perry White and I need you to go follow and subscribe on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, as well as Twitter right now. Today we preview the 2022 Prairie View and m Panthers. Panther Stadium located in Prairie View, Texas is home to the Prairie View and m Panthers where their home record over the past 10 years is 25 and 11. Coach Bubba McDowell was named the head football coach of Prairie View a and on January 4, 2022. The former NFL defensive standout is in his 11th season as a part of the Prairie View a and coaching staff, which includes four seasons as an assistant head coach. Let's take a look back at the Prairie View A&M 2021 football schedule in which the Panthers finished 75 overall and 6-2 in conference. Offensively, the Panthers ranked 7th in the SWAC averaging 25 points a game on the season and defensively they ranked 4th in the SWAC giving up an average of 26 points a game. They were crowned the SWAC Western Division champion, although they ended the season on a four-game losing streak, but they were able to go up to Jackson, Mississippi and take on the Tigers of Jackson State in the SWAC championship game in which they fell short. Let's see what the Panthers are able to do in 2022 and if they can build off of what they did last season. It's the Bubba McDowell era coming out of the 2022 spring offseason. And they started with national signing. They bringing in some talent on this Prairie View team. Of course, they had some guys transfer out. You're talking about All-American Jason Dumas who transfers out. And it's going to be big in terms of what Coach McDowell is going to do with this team. No one knows in terms of what Prairie View is going to look like, uh, what they're going to be. But Coach McDowell has been on this staff for a long time. He's been a part of Prairie View, and he knows Prairie View very well. And I think for Prairie View fans, you have to sit back and watch this season to see what unfolds. Coach Eric Dooley is no longer there as he took the Southern job, and now Coach McDowell has to find his own way as a head coach at Prairie View in terms of instilling an offense, getting a defense, and then finding out what players are going to be impact players for this team in 2022 and can they repeat as the SWAC Western Division champions all of that is going to be key when you look at this program moving forward there are a lot of question marks but I think if you're Prairie View you got to be excited for what happened last year let's listen to what Coach McDowell had to say at SWAC Media Day God bless you know, me to uh, be in this position and I'm loving it you know taking full advantage of it you know teaching these young men just you know not only uh the media side but the football side as well so but the thing I can bring to the table again is just experience you know I, I've been there you know played at University of Miami played with the uh, Oilers played with Carolina Panthers uh and again giving these guys the experience letting them know that um they can get to that next level if they if they do what they're supposed to do Let's check out the 2022 Prairie View and them football schedule. I want to thank my friends over at VersusSportsSimulator.com for sending over this projected record for the 2022 Prairie View and them Panthers. They have the Panthers going eight and three, best case record at nine and two, worst case at six and five, with three swing games on the schedule. Prairie View starts the season off with SWAC Western Division opponent Texas Southern, where they give them a high percentage chance to win that, and then two consecutive non-conference FCS opponents in Abilene Christian and Incarnate Word, in which low percentage is there. But then that first swing game of the season, going on the road to Alabama State, and then with Grambling. The big game, October the 8th, you got to circle this one. Coach Eric Dooley, the former head coach at Prairie View, coming back with his Southern University team should be interesting. Then the Panthers have Lamar, another non-conference opponent, before the taking on Bethune-Cookman, and then Alcorn, which if you looked at that game last year, it was close before ending out the season with Pine Bluff and Valley. Tell me down in the comment section what you think the Panthers are going to do in 2022. Here's the 2022 SWAC predicted order of finish. And as you look over into the SWAC West, the Prairie View Panthers are right there in that third spot. They were the defending SWAC Western Division champions. Will they be able to claim that spot again in 2022? 
They're going to have to get past Southern and Alcorn if they're going to get that crown back. And we close it out by taking a look at the preseason all-swag selection, first-team offense and defense, as well as the second-team offense and defense. Uh, Prairie View with four guys named to this list. Uh, they lost some players from last year's team, but they're going to need these four players that are named on this year's all-swag selection to step up big for them if they want to repeat as the 2022 SWAC Western Division champion. Remember to follow and subscribe on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, as well as Twitter at OnTheYardSports. And as always, I'm Perry White. Peace.